Yo guys, it's your boy Dylan, and today we're going to be predicting week 7 of the NFL season, of the 2024 NFL season, and then, as usual, in the next part of the video, uh, we'll be doing teams, three teams that are going upwards, or while well, they're improving, while three teams are going backwards, or they're declining. And before I continue, bear with me, I'm not, I'm not feeling the best right now. But um, for the bye weeks this week, we have the Dallas Cowboys and Chicago Bears that are on the bye week. So only two teams are on bye week. But next week, all 32 teams will actually play. But let's get right into it. Starting off with the Broncos and Saints. After the Broncos won back in week five, they unfortunately lost on week six. As to where the Saints... They originally started 2-0, like they scored like over 80, 90 points within those, within like the first two games. But ever since then, it's just not been good from there by the Saints. Uh, so for there on out, I'm going to go with the Broncos um, for to, to start things off here in week seven. Moving on to the Patriots and Jaguars. This is another London game, another 8.30 start time. And, you know, this is probably going to be toilet bowl of the week. This, this game is going to literally be worse than my allergies that are going on right now here in St. Louis. Um, the Patriots, 1-5. The Jaguars, 1-5. They're back to losing. The Patriots are on a five-game losing streak. Literally, both teams suck. Like, I don't... This game could literally be a snooze fest. <laughs> but I, I, someone has to get their second win. I'm going to go with the Patriots in Week 7. And they'll prove to a 2-5 and five record. Moving on to the Lions and Vikings. Hopefully this matchup right here is the better matchup of the week. Um, the Lions, unfortunately, I mean, yes, they did. They smoked the Cowboys in week six or this past week, but they did lose a key player, Aiden Hutchinson. That is a, that's a player you do not want to lose. Uh, like, although they, like I said, although they did smoke the Cowboys. That's where the Vikings, they are one of, one of the four teams that are coming off of last week's bye week. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, even though the the Lions don't have Aiden Hutchinson, the Vikings, I think it's time for them to take a loss. I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions to take a win here, and they'll prove to 5-1, and one, uh, while the Vikings, they're going to fall, I believe, to a 5-1 and one record as well. So, uh, yeah, that's how things go. Moving on to the Titans and Bills. The... The Titans, well, last week they lost. I mean, what else do you expect by the Titans? As to where the Bills, they did lose back-to-back -back, uh, weeks in week four and week five, but they were able to get back onto the winning column and improve their record to 4-2 last week, this past week, week six. I'm going to say the Bills are going to win in week six. Moving on to the Dolphins and Colts. The Dolphins, they, I believe they're another one of the teams that are coming off of last week's bye week after, in week five, they improved to a two and three. As for the Colts, they matched their rec. They're now back at 500 again. I believe the, I believe the Dolphins are still out um, without Tua Tagovailoa, but I am going to go with the Colts in week seven for this one. Moving on to the Seahawks and Falcons. What is going on with the Seahawks? They're almost like the Saints. They started their season 3-0, but in the last three weeks, they've fallen right back to rock bottom. Unfortunately, falling, making their record fall right back to 500, where it all began. As for the Falcons, they were able, I believe, to get back-to-back -back weeks with a win. But I do think the Seahawks are going to, they're going to have a rebound week, and they will improve to a 4-3 record, basically making them going back above 500. Moving on with the Texans and the Packers. The Packers, they're in a divisional dogfight uh, in the NFC North. As for the Texans, well, the Texans, I mean, last week, without Nico Collins, they were still able to win. I'm going to go with the Texans in Week 7. Moving on to the Bengals and Browns. Far I know, this game could be another toilet bowl. I, I still think the toilet bowl is going to be Patriots and Jaguars, but still, uh, the Bengals they were able to they were able to win uh, last week to improve to a two and four record. As where the Browns at this point, their Deshaun Watson thing is just a joke at this point. Give me the Bengals. Bengals will improve for the first time this year. They'll win back to back games, improving their record to a three and four record. 
Moving on to the Eagles and Giants. The Eagles, I believe they're coming off of... No, I believe they did win. Oh, oh well. The Eagles, though, they are 3-2 and two on the year. As were the, Gi as were the Giants. Um, yeah, same old Giants. They lost. I'm saying for the first time this year, the Eagles will win back-to-back -back games. Improving their record to 4-2. and two. Moving on to the Raiders and Rams. Right? Both teams are last place teams. Rams, another one of the teams that is coming off of last week's bye week. Hopefully that is momentum. But in the long run, I am going to go with the Raiders for week uh, six. Moving on to the Panthers versus Commanders. I mean, Panthers, what do you expect out of them every week? They just they just keep losing. I mean, that's kind of third thing at this point. Uh, Commanders, they did lose last week, but I do think this will be a... Knowing the Panthers, they're, they're going to easily rebound, and the Commanders will get their fifth win of the year. Moving on to the Chiefs and 49ers. The Kansas City Chiefs, they're coming off of the bye week. I believe the last team to come off of the bye week. As the Chiefs, last um, two weeks ago, they did... Improved to a 5-0 record. The Chiefs are actually 5-0 for the first time since 2018. 2018 was kind of like the birth of Patrick Mahomes. Um, like the, or like the start of the rise of Patrick Mahomes. But um, moving on to the 49ers. The 49ers, they did win last week um, over the Seahawks in, on Thursday Night Football. Improving their record, I believe, back to 3-3. Three three. Just like with the Vikings, I think it's time for the Chiefs. To take a loss here. I'm going to go with the 49ers. To improve. To a 4-3. While the Chiefs. They suffer their first loss of the season. Moving on to the Jets. And Steelers. Jets. I mean they did. I mean they did get. Devontae Adams this past week. But. I think that. I think it's going to be. I think it's too late. As were the Steelers. Well. Same old Steelers. I do think the Steelers. Will win. Week 7. Over the New York Jets. The Jets are going to be on a big losing streak. Moving on to Sunday Night Football. For the second time in I believe three weeks. The Ravens are going to be on Sunday Night Football. This time taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, the, the Ravens. like I think I said this a week or two ago. Ever since their 0-2 start. They have just been dominating. Derrick Henry getting rushing TDs. He's already two rushing TDs away from 10 of them. So, like I said, you, you, the, league has, the league's going to have to watch out starting now. Both teams are good. I mean, the Buccaneers, they're 4-2. Both teams are 4-2, but someone's going to get their fifth win. I'm sick with how the Ravens are playing. Give me the Ravens for week, for week 7. And last but not least, we have the Chargers and Cardinals. Chargers, they did beat a, a lousy uh, Broncos team. As for the Cardinals, well... Cardinals are, you know, there's times where they act all serious, but then all of a sudden, in reality, they tend to lose a game. But last week, the Chargers, like I said, they did take the win. I'm saying they're going to get another win here in Week 7, improving the record, I believe, to a 4-2 and two record. And they're doing, you know, good right now. All right, so for my next half of the video... We have, I have three teams that are declining and three teams that are improving. I'm going to start on the declining side uh, with the Saints. Like I said, uh, I believe there were back-to-back -back weeks where the, in the first two weeks where the New Orleans Saints, they literally scored like 40 plus points in the first two weeks of the season. But ever since then, they have fallen back to two games below 500. They're now two and four. So, things are not looking bright here in New Orleans. And, like I said, I do have them losing to the Broncos. Basically send them back even further to a 2-5 and five record. Next up in the declining, I have the Cleveland Browns. Last, at this point, last year was just a fluke year. And Deshaun Watson is just not the guy. He's just not the guy for the job. I would not... I, I, and I believe with last week's loss... I believe the Browns are going to be clinching a top 10 draft pick, I believe. So, they're going to have to cut Deshaun Watson. He He's just not the guy for the job. 
The clot on and my number one team on the declining portion will be the Jaguars. Although, uh, although in week five they did finally get a win. Uh, last week in London, so fun fact: this will actually be back to back weeks that the Jaguars are actually playing in London. The Jaguars, things just uh, after week five's win, things have just not been bright since. I mean, I would say bright since, but they're back to their losing ways. And they're now down to a 1-5 and five record. So, they're going to have to... If they want to really be serious, they're going to have to go on a big winning streak here. Alright, now for my three teams that are actually improving. This is going to be a bold one, actually, here for the improving side. And this is number three. I have, I have the Chicago Bears. Uh, for those that don't know, in the first three weeks of the season, the Chicago Bears, they were 1-2 and two on the season. But the last three weeks have all been wins, and they are 4-2. and two. And again, they're getting ready to go into a bye week, so they won't be playing this week. But 4-2, and two, that's actually pretty solid by the Bears. If they can keep this up, they, they will probably be a playoff contender this year. Moving on to my second team, the Baltimore Ravens. Like I said earlier, ever since... Ever since that 0-2 start by the Ravens, they've just been winning since Derrick Henry's been running the ball well. And just so is Lamar Jackson and his group. And the Ravens, ever since then, it has just been win after win after win ever since that 0-2 start. And my last team for improving, this could be another bowl one here. I have the Houston Texans. This has just been a dominant start. La and now, this past week, they were without Nico Collins, but uh, without but they were without Nico Collins, and they were still able to get one. And again, Nico Collins is just one out of the many few key players out of the Texans. That's that's probably making the reason why the Texans are actually this good as to where they are right now. Because the Texans, uh, they. If you want to know part of the roster, they have Stefan Diggs, Joe Mixon, the Strouds. They have a dominant roster. And Nico Collins, yeah, that might have been one player gone, but Nico Collins, I mean, without Nico Collins, they, they still found a way to win. So keep it up, Texans. Texans, they could be a they're gonna be a team that the NFL's gonna have to watch out for, just like with the Vikings and the Chiefs. So with that, that wraps up another week of predictions. And again, if you want to see more predictions like this, then please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, comment if you want to see something else. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.